We've yet again made another trip out to Erlengrat because we just bought a zoo. That's right, I'm not kidding. And we're heading there right now. And we've got our new project on the back four mini bikes and we're gonna be using these mini bikes to build an off-road course inside of the zoo that's right it's kind of crazy but we like living life on the wild side so we're gonna head over to the zoo see what we're looking at the zoo is a little bit older it's been around Erlen Grat for about 35 years the owner doesn't have enough money to take care of it anymore we've got the capital so we're coming in we're saving the zoo and rescuing all the animals that come with it I think it's three types of tigers so it's just a tiger fenced in zoo as far as I'm concerned but we should be pulling up here uh, very shortly shortly and uh, also we're gonna be building in a cool little racetrack inside of the habitat to race around with our friends all getting chased by tigers it sounds crazy but here it is boys we're pulling in the fenced in zoo so that's nice too they can't escape check out our mini bikes these things are pretty sweet and they're fast too so that way the tigers can't catch us but okay i don't want to open up the gate but we got to take a look at what we're seeing here the dumpster has not been emptied in a while there's a portageon here and Yep, here is all the fence in. So we want to build a track that goes all the way around. Maybe does a jump or two and curves around. I don't know. It's going to be pretty crazy, but we've got construction mode for that. Let's uh, let's take one of these mini bikes for a spin really quick and see what these things can do because we got to know what kind of jumps to build in. Oh my gosh, this is sweet. Oh, send it. All right, there we go. It's gas power. Look at this thing. This thing moves. The birds can't even catch us. Oh my gosh, this is perfect. Okay, let's climb uphill a little bit. What's up here? Eh, it doesn't matter. Let's drive around the tiger habitat. I don't see anything else though, so it should be pretty clear. Looks like there's no points of exit for the tigers. You know, they can't have them escaping or anything. That wouldn't be good. But all right, let's jump into construction mode. Let's get building on this course. And then when we're done, we're going to test it out, guys. Uh, obviously, we're going to have to put on a helmet and some gear just for, you know, precautions. But uh, let's jump into construction mode. All right, so the track, we've got three different tigers here. I want to kind of do like a loop similar to a figure eight. So there's going to be a lot of turns and a lot of straightaways. So it's kind of cool. First thing we got to do is we got to level out the ground that we want. So if we want to do a figure eight, we can with jumps so yeah i'd say we probably start at the entrance right here that'll be the start of the track that way you know as soon as we get in the fence property that way when we start here it'll give us time to get away from the tigers if we just enter on this side so all right the first thing up we're gonna raise the ground here up a little bit let's see if we can build in our first jump or something to get us off the ground a little bit that way we have a chance of getting away from the tigers because if you guys don't know they're very fast animals they can run but usually they're harmless if you know throw a stake over the fence or something this is probably the craziest thing we've ever done before i i don't think there's anything that's been crazier than this so this could be pretty cool but okay we got kind of the first ground elevation right here we're gonna build in our jump so we gotta completely raise this thing all the way up here we go let's build in a big jump we're gonna completely send it Maybe a little bit more. Okay, that's going to be our ground height. So we're going to set that for the ramp. And look at that. So you're going to basically enter, hit the massive jump. You're going to land it. And then we only have so much space here. We're going to build in a curve. So let's raise up all the ground. We're going to build in a cool little curve for the track. So that's easy. It's like a turn bank, they call them. You've probably seen them in dirt bike races and stuff. It helps the vehicle rider to turn a lot easier. You can like dig your foot into the ground, into the dirt, and get a lot of momentum and speed. So you don't have to like wipe out on the dirt bike when you're trying to turn. So... All right, that looks good. We're going to curve it around here. So let's bring this ground up on the right side. Okay, we're almost getting there and done. Okay, so this is kind of what it looks like, a nice turn bank. You're going to hit the jump. You're going to land it. Let's see, we can go a little bit to the side here. Build it up right there. Looks good. Now we got to smooth it out. That way the turn is super smooth. There we go. I think that's good. We'll have to test it out. Obviously, it's going to take a lot of trial and error, but once we get it perfect, this is going to be a pretty cool race because it's wild too. So, all right, that looks good. We're going to start painting some stuff in. The track is going to be made of dirt because it's a dirt track. I mean, there's some dirt here, but we're going to make a complete dirt. We're going to redo it all right here. Look at that. And then here's our turn bank. So we'll put some fresh dirt down there. Look at that. Okay, so that's like the first two obstacles we can call it. I don't think we're going to do a ring of fire, but uh, hey, maybe we could. If you guys like this video, we'll come back and do a ring of fire. But all right, we got the first two. Now the next part of the course, we're going to kind of bring it into the center here. The animals are going to be, you know, running around in circles like crazy, but we got to go in circles too to get away from them. So all right, in the center, what are we going to do here? You're going to come off this turn bank and you're going to go straight here. So let's get the dirt texture right to the center, kind of a straight away. Um, and then we're going to go build it up into an elevation and build a bridge right here. Go down here, another turn bank and circle back to the jump. So let's start with the bridge. We got to build up the ground a little bit. Uh, there's a tiger right there. So we got to be very careful. They're not moving a lot right now, but I'm sure once we get mini bikes screaming on this course, it's probably not going to be 
as quiet so okay there we go we got the first elevation built up for our bridge now let's find the bridge okay here we go here's our bridge so we're gonna place it down looks good we gotta actually adjust this ground right over here or we'll just fill it in i mean it doesn't have to be perfect but that's kind of how it's gonna work we gotta build up this jump though to the bridge it's gotta be perfect because you got a lot of speed going up to this bridge so let's build it up there we go a little elevation ramp I mean, it's a mini bike, so it'll slide in right there. And then I think we've got to build another turn bank in, like I was saying. Along the fence, preferably, because if you have to jump off your bike because the tiger's chasing you, you could just jump over the fence. So, all right, next part up is turn bank number two here. Let's build this up. This is going to be a pretty crazy one because there's a lot of turning going on in this fence right here. So, all right, let's build it up. Okay, we got the turn bank all done here. So now we're going to move on to the dirt texture again. We're going to put dirt right along the bank. We're not going to put any dirt in the center. We're just going to leave that normal because we don't want to disturb the habitat or anything. Uh, that might cause the animals to go completely crazy. So they're pretty normal right now. But, you know, if we do that, it might ruin the entire habitat. So we're going to leave it normal. But uh, all right, that turn bank looks good. You're basically going to leave the bridge, take an immediate left-hand turn, and then, yeah, there. So now we got to find something else here. We don't have much space left. As you can see, we've kind of gone around, but we go something in the middle here. I think uh, we could put, like, a car obstacle. You got to hit a jump over a car. We've got some old placeable cars we could put down here and i'm sure the animals won't mind because they'll be able to climb on the thing and there we go that's our little mini cooper i don't even know what kind of vehicle that is but it's kind of cool looking so you're gonna come off the turn bank and then we got to build another jump over this vehicle so uh switch back over to construction mode let's build this jump up i like that car it's kind of cool but it's old i mean there's nothing left in it it's just a frame and that's about it i mean it's kind of cool though all right, I think that jump is about good there. So let's set the height and then build the jump up. It's kind of a cool feature. We got this slope tool. So that really helps us when we're building jumps on these courses and stuff. So nice to have. But all right, that jump should be enough ground clearance. Like I said, we got to test it all. If we have to come back and switch it, that's always an option here. So all right, and then complete the dirt there. You jump over the car, you land it, and then we got to put more dirt down. You're going to connect back to the track. And honestly, I think you're going to completely skip phase one and you're going to go straight back to this turn bank over the bridge and just loop around. I mean, there's not much we can do, guys, with this limited space, but I do have to say we've got more touches to add on to it. We can add some trees and some stuff. So let's add some smaller trees along the side, maybe in the middle. I don't know. They don't like trees that much, these tigers. They like their own space. So we'll try and keep it limited. I think that might look good. And then we're going to add some stadium lights because if we do this at night, well, I don't know if we'll do it at night, but uh, we'll just add the lights in for the tigers because out here it was completely dark besides the lights over here at this biogas plant. I mean, it's been empty. And uh, all right, a couple more touches. I'm going to add lights that go in the jump. So like I said, if we do come out at night, this thing's going to be completely lit up, which would be nice. We'll be able to see where we're going. So we're going to put them all along the corners and the edges of the jump, sort of like snowplow markers in your driveway. You know, you got these lights for when you can't see anything. So it's kind of nice to mark where the jump's at, where you need to land it at and stop. I mean, that's pretty much all it's used for. But all right, we'll put some along this one. Okay. Hit the jump, but you can't hit the tree. You got to make sure you aim a little bit to the left over that car or else you're hitting the tree. So that's uh, not a good option there. So, all right, I think we look good. Let's go grab a mini bike and test this out. But before we enter the track, guys, we need to change the outfit. We're going to put on a bite proof suit. So what that does is if a tiger ends up biting us, it's like a titanium suit. So we'll be safe. You know, we got to have the safety involved because we're basically playing in a tiger habitat. It's that simple. So, all right, let's switch in to the wardrobe and uh, let's clean up our outfit okay here's the suit the only problem is is that tigers like red meat so we gotta change the suit color to, to something other than red or else they're gonna think we're a steak so i say maybe we just do an all black outfit we got the helmet on too that's a heavy duty dirt biking helmet i don't think they're gonna bite through that so all right that looks good we need to reinforce the boots though there we go and gloves let's see we need those special gloves where are they at there we go. All right. Well, we got our bite proof suit on, I guess. And let's enter the track. We are all safety here. So, all right. Let's hit it. Oh, my gosh. One of them's moving. Here we go. Send it. Oh, we got some air on that one. Okay, this is cool. We got the turn back. You're going to turn around. Go over the bridge. Okay, this is cool. No, 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 Tiger. Stay there. Okay, there we go. Hit the second turn back. Here we go. Clear the car. Oh, that was perfect. All right, and then we'll go back here because why not? And oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. It's stalling out. Get out of the way. All right, exit the track. Exit the track. Okay, there we go. I think that was good. You don't want to stay in the track too long. You should not sit there. So once you're done completing your lap, you should leave if you're not, you know, going for a second lap. But 
That was pretty cool. I do have to say we did a good job on this. So let's go in for lap two. This is kind of cool. It's like a gate that opens when you're ready to go. Oh my gosh. And then it closes immediately. Oh, we got some air on that one. These tires are good too. Working good in the dirt. So, all right, there we go. Hit the jump. We're going to also go backwards on the track and see if it does anything different. That way we could, you know, do reverse races and all that. Uh, well, that may not work with the car, but I'll have to test it out here. Ooh, this is cool. All right, I like this. Here we go. Let's do some circles. We're going to go around the car, hit the jump. Three, two, one. Oh no, Tiger's right there. Move. Oh my gosh. You can't stall out for too long or else you're going to be stuck in a situation you don't want to be in. So there we go. Let's get out of the way. It works as good going on the reverse side of the track. So, I mean, this is cool. You can kind of go whatever way you want. I do think we should improve it and add more stuff in. The lions have a habitat, but they're not in this city. So we go to a lion habitat. I think that's over in Elm Creek. So maybe we could do that if you guys want to see that. But anyhow, let's go get the rest of these bikes set up over here. We've got them on the trailer. We're going to unload them before we're done today. Okay, this is a problem too. The fence doesn't want to open uh, perfectly. So, all right, there we go. We're going to park them outside. Hey guys, nothing going on here. Just staying wild. Yee -yee. All right, let's go uh, put these bikes over here. They're super light and they don't use much fuel. So it's kind of a win-win deal here. But all right, we got these two right here. These are all the Coleman bikes. These are kind of cool that you sell these at like a lot of different stores. It's got a Honda GX, what is that? Like a lawn mowing engine? I, I don't know. It's a small gas engine. It might even be like half a cylinder. I don't even know. It's a really small engine, but it gets this thing moving because you know, you don't need much for it. Basically the engine is the heaviest part of it. All right, we got all the bikes over here. The last thing to do, is bring in the surprise vehicle. I'll be back in a few. Before I unveil the outside of the vehicle, comment down below, what kind of car do you think I'm in? This thing is pretty cool. Oh my gosh. And here comes the unveiling. Check it out. Oh my gosh. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, it's cool, but uh, yeah, we're going to go take it on the track because why not? This is called a PLP 50. It's a three wheeler. Here we go and hit it. All right, let's see how it does. We got the off-road tires. It's in a lime green paint. I heard tigers don't like the color of lime green, so that makes it even worse, but we'll make it. Here we go. Hit the jump. Oh no, he's coming after us. Oh, move out of the way. Oh my gosh, that's a tiger. All right, there we go. Let's see if we can hit the jump over the car. Oh, that's another tiger. All right, I'm not liking how this is going. Oh no, we're stuck on this car. Get out of the way, get out of the way. All right, Ah, uh, it's not going so well. Watch out, tiger. Oh my gosh. Open sesame, let's get out of here. There we go, we made it out safely. Oh my gosh, that was crazy. Well, that was kind of funny though. I mean, a three-wheeler, this is cool. If you guys want us to bring more of these cars to the track and race around with our friends, smash the thumbs up button down below, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Oh